Hey, Larry. <laughs> All right. So you got started in the sea. You're from Pryland, and you got started in Seamoss. How? I'm from well, in a small community. I live in a small community of Pryland, and our farm is located on a small beach called Kotui, where I've been a Simos farmer for three years. I, go, I was introduced by my auntie and just on my, I guess that my, I got an echo. I, I was introduced by my auntie as the, we decided as a part-time job. And then we, we decided to do it full-time. Awesome. Hey, Larry. Hey. How are you? All right, all right. So, if you can introduce yourself to our audience and tell us um, who you are and how you got introduced into CMOS farming. Yeah, hello, my name is Larry Seri. I got introduced to CMOS by Joseph Santi, whose name is um, Norma um, Trim. Um, but we started about three years ago. Um, um, there was not many people um, actually doing CMOS at the time. And we were just doing the business as like kind of like, you know, sustainable farming, tourism kind of vibe. And then we just took it from there. Awesome. So what is it? So when you guys do this, so I want everyone to understand your process, right? So a lot of times I think there's, um, there's so much, there's so many ident or misconceptions around sea moss farming when it comes to like wild harvesting, the way you guys harvest in St. Lucia, and then also some of the grown um, sea moss that's out there. So I just wanted to understand and tell our audience your process, how you guys farm the sea moss, um, and what what do you guys enjoy most about it? So um, I'll let one or you, one or the other, take uh, the lead on that. But just kind of, I just want the audience to understand how you guys process the sea moss. Well, okay. Um, um, okay. Go ahead. Well, our our stimulus comes from um on it. It's, our stimulus grow out in a rocky path, a rocky part of the ocean, uh, where we where, where we experience when we experience um bad weather, we see the sea rolling. We get a lot of outbreak of stimulus that's grown deep in the ocean. So that's the wild crafted seamoss. And we take that seamoss, we take them as plants, we put them on a rope, we plant them on a rope to on our farm. And then whatever we we whatever um the result whatever we sorry eh my camera is sticking let me start again. The wild crafted seamounts we're getting from the deep ocean and on rocky the rocky part of the, the, the ocean. And we take those seamounts and we plant we put them on ropes to to keep them, to keep the plants. So when we're not getting at seamounts, we have seamounts so we could harvest. We could have this. So when you say Seamoss Farm, so explain to everyone what that looks like. Because, you know, when people think of farms, they think that it's something that is um, called, like, uh, I guess, manipulated by mankind, meaning that you guys are adding fertilizer to it or it's basically, um, you know, it's something that is not natural. So explain to the, the audience what ocean farming really is and what it looks like. Ocean farming is organized as um, we put sticks and ropes close to the close to the ocean. 
close to the shore, the nearby shore of the, of the sea, we place sticks and rope where we plant the seamoth onto it. So when the time we when we need seamoth at any given time, we could just go to the farm and harvest. It's it's available for us instead of going out going out to the deep ocean to get the seamoth on, on the rocks or on the reef. And then Did you want to add anything, Larry? Yeah, just to um, just to add to what Giovanni was saying, um, the the leg farming is, is is more sustainable and it's safer and less risky because if you have to go on the rocks, where ex where the where the seamless is, it is very risky for it to, for it to be having to yeah. go on the rocks. You understand? So. By us having it on lines, it's more sustainable. Plus, we are not damaging the ecosystem. Like, for example, there's something called Wilkes, you know, which we call Buigo. Um, You will not step on the rocks and step on the Buigo, and, you know, you will not be um, damaging the ecosystem. It's more, it's more sustainable to have it on the lines. You understand, and by having it on the lines, it's even better because, as um, Monica, if you if you go to our 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 Facebook page, or if you go to Monica's Facebook page, or if you go to Monica's um Instagram page, okay. you are going to see that you know the fish actually live under the ropes, so the fish actually live under the um the sea moss. It's a housing. Yes, yeah, so rather we, what are we damaging the ecosystem? We're actually creating an ecosystem for the fish, which is actually more sustainable, you know. And as Monica, if you go to our website, there's there's the FAQs that you could actually go to on um, um, www.cmosentnusha.com. You could actually see um, on the frequently asked questions, you know, how we actually giving back to the environment you understand because we are really into sustainability we are really into ecotourism we are really into all of those things you know so yeah it's not it's it's, it's not really a business that you know when you when you when you support our product or you buy from monica gonzalez and nelson Seria, you are actually giving back you know and to 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 cement that Right, if you if you are somebody that's into ecotourism, because we plant CMOS, that contributes to the greenhouse gases. So because we plant CMOS, we the 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 carbon our carbon footprint, the CO two is actually yes less because we actually plant it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found some data that says that sea plants provide up to 50% of the oxygen that we breathe. So, um, so, so when you guys harvest the sea moss, so you plant the sea moss, so it comes down off the rocks, breaks up into the ocean, um, uh, and then you guys reap, so you guys do a process called um, vegetative uh, propagation, which is you cutting off the plant, putting it on ropes, and now it's growing in the sea. Now, it, how long does it take for that particular plant to get big enough for you guys to harvest and ship to you, to us? It takes about six weeks after planting. It takes about six weeks when it's fully grown. We either can move the whole plant at, for harvesting or we can we can break the stems. So we normally break the stems. We break a few stems out of the plant and then we put them in bags and take them to our to our home where we do the, the bleaching process. Yeah. Right. So now I'm gonna stop there because when people hear bleaching, they think it's chemical bleaching. So um, I'll throw this to you, Larry. So what is the process of bleaching that you guys talk about? The process of bleaching is 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 actually um you 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 take the CMOS and if you go to our website you'll actually see 
um, 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 the, 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 the process actually on www.simosinlucia.com. You will, you'll actually see the process um, of how we bleach the CMOS. We put it over a plastic bag and it removes the, 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 the color. So that is why you, you get the premium product that you get. You get the, the, the nice golden color, you know? Um, it, it usually takes maybe about um, four or five hours, depending on the sunlight, you know? And yeah. then, um, go ahead, Giovanni. Full, can... Full exposure to the sunlight. Yes. So, so you guys, so it sits underneath the tarp for about four to six hours under the sunlight. It sweats out the color, right? And it depends on how hot is the how hot the sun is. If it's blazing hot, your sea must can bleach in about an hour's time. Yes. So the bleach, you the bleaching is done only by the sun, no other. Only by the sunlight. Bleach. Only by the sunlight. The bleaching is done. Well, I don't know what the chemical. I don't know what chemistry the sun has, but the bleach is, is done by the sun. It it could take within a, when. Whenever the sun is really hot, it could take within an hour that all your stimulus is bleached. The water is dropped, the color is gone, it turns white, and then you could go to the next process of putting it into a dryer where it's a dry, or you could leave it out in the sun too, and it is also dry. Like the texture is dried. So when you when you take it from the ocean, when you harvest it from the ocean, you take it to your house. Then you put it on the 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 plastic, and yes. you let it bleach in the sun. An hour if the sun is hot, or four, usually four hours if it's not hot sun. Yes. Okay. You can do it artificially if you would like, but you know that's technology. You have to put it in a dryer, which. Um, there, there's some people that do it. They, they 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 put it in like in like a dryer to actually to actually dry. You oh, understand? I if you air dry it, it's going to be a different color. But if you if you um if you dry it, you know the way the way that we dry it. If you dry the way that we dry it, it's going to be golden. But if you don't dry it the way that we dry it, and you leave it air dried. It, it will be when you can you could go to our website and you will see monica has a video in the in in the sea of what purple looks like what green looks like as long as you do it air dry is going to be a different color if you if you if you bleach it which means that you 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 you, you cover it for the um for the color to come out it is going That's to be sad. a different color so so one thing that one question that I sometimes get is like there some of the color in the gold might be different. So sometimes some gold is really light, sometimes some gold is really brown. Is there a reason to that or it's just how long is that in the sun or how long it's actually it storage. It's actually storage in the amount of two to the the sea to it depends where the seamos is is in the sea. Our seamos is close to the to the shore, so normally the the seamos is a bit lighter. It's a little lighter than the seamos that's deep in the ocean. It's a bit a uh, dark brown. So it takes when it dry when the bleaching um, process is complete and we put it to dry. The seamos that is planted closer to the shore will be white or clear, a nice uh, brown white, and those that deeper that's deeper into the ocean when it dry it will be a deep brown so it depends on where it is in the in the sea the, the ocean okay just to add to what um Giovanni is saying actually um a lot of times it has a lot to do with where exactly the seamos is located because um if the seamos like any plant is further in the ocean it's not fighting for nutrients yeah so that's true. It's a different color because it's not fighting for nutrients but if it's amount a lot of you know it might um, be you know so so you guys touched on something the different colors so there's purple and there's green um no. and the that there is and one question that i always get specifically with the purple because we don't sell the green um, 
is the 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 salt that is on the plant sometimes so sometimes we ship it and it's still salt on it but I, what i re discovered recently is that the plant makes its own salt when it's dry so if you guys can walk us through that process and just you know talk to us about the purple and and how you guys you know i guess dry it or prepare it differently and even the green too because that that's you know it's similar it's a similar process Okay, well, the thing yeah. is, uh, if you, if you, when you air dry the purple, it's going to keep the color. But if you, if you, if you put it in the sun, it's going to lose its color. Mm -hmm. It's going to bleach. Okay? It's going to bleach and it's going to, it's going to come out golden. You understand? So, if you, if you, the only way that you're going to get purple or you're going to get green is if you air dry it and you don't have it to, to, to get Bleak. any water, anything like that. It'll just be that's just in its natural state. But CMOS in its natural state will always make salt because it's actually natural salt. That's how salt is made. You understand? So you cannot get CMOS and you don't, it, it, it doesn't have its own salt. It, it has its own salt. It makes its own salt. The also the bleach simos, that's the white simos. The only reason it doesn't have a lot of salt because of the chemi the the chemical process is being um taken out of the, the color. Water drop, the color is is not lo no longer the same color, so the salt is less. But the purple and the green, when we harvest it. We put it to air dry one time. The color remains. So the salt is still, it's still in its natural state, so the salt will still be there. So it makes its own salt. So the white simos will, will, the salt will be less because of the process of bleaching it. But the purple and the, the green, will, the salt will remain because it's still in its natural state. And so, what you guys, what, so how do you determine what is good or bad CMOS? And, and I'll follow that question up because there's, an, there's that whole other side of conversations that there are, there's old grown CMOS. Like, so how can you identify, you know, or differentiate what is good CMOS from bad? And, you know, is there truly a market for full grown CMOS that you've guys seen in, on the island? Because I know you know um a good portion of the sea moss that i see coming through is a lot of it's coming from saint lucia Devane, i think you should you should answer that question <laughs> well we the, i don't think there's this bad the bad sea moss is normal if you if you don't take care of your sea moss um you don't clean it and you you don't wash it like we do it will change color or if it stays out and um, bleach over bleach, it will change color. So, but our simos, we try and do it the proper way. So we give quality simos. And then there's certain seaweed they call simos. And it's a seaweed, it's not a simos. So we consider that as, as a bad simos. But for the simos we're doing, we're giving quality simos. We think of our simos the way we're doing it, the process we, we follow in. It, our simos always um, turns uh, turns good, yeah. So I have a question. So bad simos, like you say, like the seaweed that they call simos. So does that mean like the the structure of it is different? The, is the smell different? Is yes. the color different? Like how? Yes, the color, how is do you tell? the color is different. You could actually you could actually see what's good and what's not good. You could actually see. Actually, if in the texture of it, you could see just by looking at it that is that is that is it's, it's not it's not our premium. All of our all of our CMOS goes through quality control processes. Um, you can actually go to our website again, you know, and um, you will see that we give you a premium product. If there's anything that we see, we have a um, Giovanni and I. We have um, a, um, a mantra actually right now you know um 
if in doubt cut it out so if 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 we cut see it that it's not, it's not um it's, it's it's not it's not from quality or premium we just cut it out so out, the so small sort it out the so okay. anything that makes it bad we move it from the from the set so it's sorted out so we give quality simos we give good simos we do not sell bad simos okay so you'd say to identify that bad one it would have to be like in texture in color yes and yes. Also... texture yes. and color in um in you know the the, the thing with simos is guys you know i will not say no simos is bad simos you know but you know what 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 we sell to our customers you know and you could actually go to the website and see it you understand you know um www.tenushacmos.com what we sell is premium guys we don't sell we don't sell um sub quality stuff we actually take our time to go for it i i have 4 years experience in quality control systems auditing and um actually i i have um qualifications in ISO 22000 which is a auditing standard that um you know we really me and Giovanni really take our time to go through whatever we do so what what we do is actually premium we don't do substandard so um well, I, i'll put it out for our audience if anyone has any questions feel free to drop it into the comment section here um is there anything else you guys would like to leave the audience with in terms of like educational like you know community that you guys are part of that are CMOS farmers well all i would like to tell the community right now is when you support us you are not only supporting CMOS farmers only you are actually supporting Monrepo which is a small community in 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 um in, in St. Lucia yeah. with, with you know a small a small percentage of people which uh you know we 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 really trying to be ecotourism based we trying to be um the what do you call that again um we trying to we trying to 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 do um sustainability we 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 actually into sustainability you know and the cmos is very 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 um healthy for us Yes, 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 it is actually. If you go to our website, the healthy you'll product, see, you'll actually see, you know, what 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 is cereal about? You know, it has vitamins, it has minerals. It's it's actually a super food, and it's actually something that after it's it's an immune booster. After you after you come from the gym, and you 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 know you you you, you it, it it's 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 actually a super food. <laughs> well, I can say Timos in you could use Timos for in your diet. Your everyday food. You could drink Timos. Timos is something you could drink every single day. You could use it in your food, you could make um porridge out of it. You could use it as a drink. So you could do you could use Timos in in your life, in your in your daily routine. So um it's healthy for the body. it boosts your immune system like when we when we just hit um we got hit from covid everybody was drinking simos and simos had helped every single body and we got yeah, we got our immune system was was boost and it was stronger so simos is a good thing it's it's a good food and 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 we could use it in our daily diet so we we just need the more person to be aware of simos and how it has improved our well-being so we need more more sales more to start buying the simos that's what we need sales getting the simos out there for for the whole world for the the world actually go to our website and actually um if you if you if you go on our website um it's it's very good for your calories it's in, it's good for potassium heart health um after workout is good in iron is vitamin k vitamin a omega 3 um anybody with high blood pressure is very good for that it's a hormone stimulant and actually it has been proven in the caribbean to be an aphrodisiac which is a very good thing for men and um women also 
you know. But um, <laughs> it's yes, it's 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 it's, it's good in vitamin A. E. Actually, antioxidants is very very good in antioxidants also. Oh well, it's rounded in the nutrients. Well, what, you know what we wanted to share today here is that by supporting uh, CMOS that we were supporting community in St. Lucia. We wanted to you get you guys familiar with who supplies you the CMOS, right? So it's not something, we're not getting it from a third party vendor. We're getting it directly from our family in St. Lucia. So they really take the time out to make sure that they're sending you the best CMOS, the most premium CMOS, and, and again, grown in very clean water. So it's not like they're grown, the CMOS is being grown in dirty waters. The waters that, that CMOS is growing is in pristine waters. Um, so we wanted to share with you guys that this is the community that you support by supporting CMOS, the brand, and, and purchasing from us. And, you know, again, creating that relationship between you know, closing the gap between you, you know, us, the consumers of CMOS, and those who are, you know, pulling it out of the ocean, taking care of it, and making sure that they remove anything that, you know, doesn't belong in it and sends us, again, the best quality. So, again, we just wanted to share with you guys who are how we get the CMOS, the processes that our farmers take, and, you know, get to know them a little bit because. You know, this is a whole community that's spending, it's a lot of hard work, and it's, it's a community, a small community that's really pouring all their love to, to supply the world with, you know, a plant that is very healing to, to our bodies and minds. And to the um, planet, we'll be, to, you know, we again, will be, we will be posting, we will be posting on the website, um, www.cmos.com. We will be posting more, more, um, more content um and you're not only supporting actually you actually support it local you're actually supporting apoc also um which is my brother's brand that you know um, <laughs> we really want to promote also which is our also, so, um, you know, that is our promoter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah hey. oh. No, thank you guys for sharing, you know, sharing your process, you know. You're welcome. I know, Giovanni, you're in England right now, and Larry, you're in, everybody's in different time zones right now. So I really wanted to thank you guys for sharing what you guys do with the, the world and, you know, being able to provide us, you know, some good CMOS. And, again, we really wanted to share what a small town in St. Lucia is doing for, for the world with the healing of that plant.